I look very dark in this video and wild. I am so tired, <laughs> like super tired. Um, today is my kid's birthday and um, today was just a very busy day. It was a very nice day and I'm very happy that he had a happy birthday. Um, but at least for me, it was pretty busy. Um, my day started about 10 a.m., which is actually kind of early for me, which is sad, but it is a little early for me. Um, and I was meant to take a, um, to, I, I was supposed to use your big girl words, Asia. I was meant to, um, be a part of like a live streaming class today, but, um, it was my kid's birthday, so I didn't do that. I didn't do any schoolwork actually, so I'm a little bit behind, but, um, I just have to play catch up tomorrow. Um, so I got up and, um, he, yesterday, um, I, well, ugh, talk Asia. I, like every year, planned on making what I make my kid every year for his birthday, which is a lemon cake with vanilla frosting. Um, and I assumed that he wanted that this year. So I got all the ingredients to do that. And I overheard him talking to his girlfriend before she got here yesterday um, that he preferred, that he was more of a pie person and that he um, preferred to have a pie over cake. And I instantly felt bad. Like I should have asked, asked him, it's his birthday and yada yada. So uh, I, was, I was talking to my husband about it. My husband, of course, went to him, which I didn't want him to do. But um He's like, no, it's fine. Of course, I love your cake, all that stuff, whatever. And I was like, hey, if you prefer a pie, I'll make you a pie. So I made him a pie. Um, but I also saw the ingredients for a lemon cake and I needed to use the ingredients. You know, I didn't want to just not use the ingredients for that. So I decided I would do both. So I went ahead and I got up this morning and started on the cake. Um, the cake is kind of a process for me, probably because I go overboard with it, but I like to, for birthdays, do, um, like a three decker cake and, um, the cat is being weird out there. Um, and I like to make my own frosting, um, which the frosting isn't hard to do at all, but doing the cake and then baking the cakes and then letting the cakes cool on the racks, um, you know, all that can take time. I'm going to pause this for a second to go check because the cat is being really wild and it sounds like it's the door, but I just need to be sure. Okay. Yeah. It was just the cat being weird. So anyway, um, so yeah, just, it's a process, um, with the cakes. And then, um, while well, after doing that, um, we had to go grocery shopping to get everything we needed. So we all went together and we were gone a couple of hours. Like we had to get quite a few things. We had to get groceries for the house. We had to had to get everything um, for Curry's dinner tonight and everything to make his key lime pie, which is what he requested specifically. It's a little nervous. I always get nervous when I'm making a recipe that I've, or making a recipe, <laughs> making something that I've never made before. And I tried to look up a recipe and I couldn't find any key lime pie recipes that I actually liked or actually looked good to me. So I kind of winged it a bit and just kind of made my own thing. Um, a few weeks ago, I went out with my mom and sister and we ordered or we ended up buying um, this pie that my mom like loves. It's like a cream. Yay. yay. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's like a, I'm going to be a wife right now really quick. Hold on. Did you wash your hands? I did. Okay. Anyway, so, cute. Um, so yeah, it's like a cream cheese lemon meringue pie type deal. Not quite a lemon meringue pie, but it's it's like it's like a cheesecake. But then the top layer is like a lemon custard -y thing. So anyway, I, I did basically that, but instead key limes. So apparently it turned out OK because he enjoyed it. Um, but anyway, shopping was a an adventure. And then when we got home, um, I, uh, 
what am I saying? Talk Asia. Um, it was just still, it was so much to do all day. Um, I had to, um, get started on the frosting, had to frost the cakes, uh, and frosting a cake with homemade frosting can be such a chore, mostly because um, when you're working in a hot kitchen and you're working with frosting, like a buttercream frosting, it's easy for it to melt. So uh, when you're frosting a cake, it's like you have to, well, for me at least, maybe there's an easier way to do it. I just don't know. But it's like you put like your crumb coating on, you know, or however you look at it or call it. And then I have to refrigerate it for a bit um, and take it out and then frost it again because I don't want the, I want the frosting to set and not um, melt on me as I'm trying to frost this. That was a process. Also doing the cheesecake, I mean, not cheesecake, (laughs) key lime pie, which is like a multiple step thing. uh, So I have to do the cheesecake part and then make the key lime meringue thing on the stove and I was nervous the whole time because I'm like I don't know it's not working the way I want it to work and um it it was weird I started adding stuff because I was like I want it to look like a lemon meringue pie I mean um like it's a, a key lime pie and I didn't I wasn't getting that nice green color that I wanted so I ended up like dropping like just the tiniest bit like like not even a full drop of green food coloring, which actually um, I feel like I'm just making this like I made this disgusting thing. Um, I wanted it to have a certain color. I wanted to have a certain texture and everything. I wanted it to not be like green, but have just a slight tint to represent the key lime flavor that it had. You know, I didn't want it to be that weird yellow cloudy look or whatever. So anyway, that was the whole process. I was nervous about it because it was my first time making it and I wasn't making a traditional lemon. I mean, oh, I keep saying that. Key lime pie. Um, and then I had to start on dinner and we did nachos. That's what he wanted. But it was so much. I, I went overboard. I absolutely went overboard. I didn't have to, but I was like, oh, well, I'll make pico de gallo and then um, I'll make guacamole and this and that. So it was just like, I just wanted him to have everything he wanted. So, um, in the end, of course it was worth it, but it was a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, and with all the cooking dishes and stuff, um, it must be nice having like a sous chef to like do all the cutting and chopping and dish. Um, it's like an assistant chef, someone who does a lot of like the chopping and the the tedious stuff, you know? I can be your sous chef if you want. No, last time you were my sous chef, you gave me the wrong instructions in the recipe. But it's okay. It's fine. So anyway, um, my back and my feet and my body has been killing me for like the last three days. And today was just like, holy crap. And it got way worse. Um, and then, um, oh, also he wanted to drink cause he can legally drink now. And I did not drink tonight. Um, honestly, I just didn't have any time to even think about drinking. Also, um, I wasn't going to drink while I was cooking because I want to stay level headed. And honestly, I didn't want to get drunk or anything because like I already wasn't feeling very good, had a migraine and stuff. But I knew that if I drank a couple hours later, I would have a worse headache and I didn't need that on top of everything else. So I kind of opt out of drinking, not purposely, but it just kind of happened that way. Uh, we had dinner. Um, we watched Flash, Flashpoint Paradox, um, which it was nice seeing that again. It's a good movie. Um, then we ended up just like playing some games and just hanging out, but he really enjoyed his birthday. So I'm happy he enjoyed his birthday. Um, so it was all worth it, but I am pooped. I am so, so tired and, um, I have so much schoolwork to catch up on and stuff. Not so much, but enough, I'm sure like two days worth. So anyway, uh, and then after we retired for the evening, um, like I made some tea and kind of relaxed and stuff. And like, we got a notice in the mail. Um, we needed to take care of some paperwork, some time sensitive stuff. So I had to do work on that. And it's just, it's always something, you know, it's always something. And it's just like, Oh, I wish. Yeah, of course. I had to. So, 
um, just taking care of everything. It's a lot. Um, but it's what you're supposed to do. You have to be an adult. Um, I've actually been spending a lot more time with the cat. Um, I feel like despite my allergies, <laughs> petting him more and just giving him more attention, I feel really bad for him. He's so used to like, um, like that's Kari's cat, not like in a bad way where we're just like, oh, forget him, that's Kari's cat, but that's literally Kari's cat. Like they are the closest. And um, he has been pretty sad the last couple of days because um, he is an attention whore. He loves attention, but when he wants it and he wants it a certain way, he's very whiny and needy. Um, and you know, like he'll go to Kari a lot for attention. Then he'll go to my husband the second most and then probably me the last, the least. Um, but you know, he likes attention from everybody wherever he can get it. And he'll come out into the living room. Um, but he's usually in Kari's room. That's just his spot. That might as well be his bedroom too, especially at night. You know, when it's time for bed or we're just settling in, my husband and I come to our room, say our good nights, and small cat and Kari will go to their room and hang out. You know, that's just what they do. But because Gar- Kari's girlfriend is in town, uh, small cat <laughs> doesn't have his buddy as much anymore. So you can tell he's depressed <laughs> and it's really, really sad and I feel so bad for him. Um, so like he gets kicked out every night now and... He's just sad and wants attention. And he's just like, what the heck? How come everybody else has somebody to sleep with? And I just feel really bad for him. You left so, shit. Thanks. So, um, you made me lose my train of thought. Um, close the door. Yeah. So anyway, I just feel really bad for the cat. And um, I've been trying to give him more attention because he's been pretty sad. So that and it's just a lot of changes and it's all happening a lot faster than expected i mean we knew that january it's going to be like changes are happening but since the first it's been like boom 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 so just kind of getting used to that and balancing it and juggling it without tumbling over and falling and um i'll be fine but i am tired and it's only the fourth technically now so that was my day. It was pretty busy, but productive. And I'm glad he had a good birthday. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting some rest. I, I asked my husband if he can massage me from head to toe because I'm so freaking sore. It's ridiculous. So anyway, I'm going to go and get it ready for bed before I have to get up and do it all over again.